Since I'll be switching to a racing ignition, I know that I'll need a different tool for setting my timing because I typically use a degree wheel and a timing light. So for the racing ignitions, they normally give you a spec of X amount of millimeters before top dead center. So you have to use some sort of um, micrometer designed to do that or you can use a dial indicator with an adapter. And both of those are available at pretty reasonable prices, especially the micrometers. But I think what I'm going to do is try to use a dial indicator and turn this chunk of aluminum into an adapter, hopefully. Here's what the finished product looks like. 
and I thought that was pretty good especially because this is the first time I've ever cut threads on the lathe I've had the lathe I guess for a couple of years now um, and I've just never took the time to learn threading um, I had read about it and watched some videos about it when I first got the lathe but beyond that I never actually tried it I just used taps and dies uh, whenever I work with a lathe and threading um, so it kind of shows because when I went to thread it into the cylinder head, I used a old cylinder head, didn't try it on the TPR right away. Um, it goes in maybe a thread and a half or two threads or something like that, and then it kind of binds up. Um, so I looked at it with my thread pitch gauge, and it looks pretty close to my eyes. And I tried going over it with a thread file. Um, I went over it with a wire brush just to make sure the threads were pretty clean in there. Um, and I couldn't really figure anything out at that point and then I took a picture of this or a couple pictures of this um, and looking at it up close on a large screen then I could see it looks like the peaks of the thread here the sort of outside diameter the peaks are a little thick like I didn't cut it deep enough um, so I actually paid attention to the major diameter which is the kind of outside diameter of the threads um, I cut that down to the proper range and when I went in I zeroed out the cross slide before I started and when I went in I made sure that I went in what should be the proper amount I thought to get the uh, correct minor diameter um, so I thought it would be okay the other thing I should have done now in retrospect is I should have tested this before I ever took it off the lathe and disengaged the lathe because once you disengage um, with thread cutting the way I was doing it you're not going to get it back in there right to try and make another pass so before I disengaged everything I really should have checked to just make sure it fit um, and then I could have cut more at that point if I had needed to but uh, anyway what I didn't pay attention to if I wasn't doing that was pitch diameter um, which you need a wire gauge set that I don't have to measure um, and I think I just kind of thought if I had the major and minor correct then I would get the pitch diameter correct um, but it turns out that's wrong especially because this was the first time I'd ever cut a threading tool and while it matched up to the angles like it should in the uh, fishtail gauge and I made sure I cut the proper angles on the sides and everything um, what I didn't do was cut a flat at the end of the gauge I left it as a sharp point and I think if I had cut the proper dimension of the flat there and I had ran it in with my cross slide and taking care as I did I would probably have something that worked um, even without me checking it maybe not I don't know but I would have certainly been closer um, so live and learn uh, apparently what I learned this time is threading is a little tougher than I had thought um, especially like I said because I didn't do my homework uh, recheck things before I did this again knowing it had been a long time since I'd read about it or anything else um, but it's really close I think basically it would have been another cut and I would have been fine so I've got a M14 by 1.25 tap on the way uh, or die excuse me and I think I'll just run the die over it and probably a quick pass with a die and it'll be fine because like I said I think it's really close but just needs a slight bit more cutting um, so yeah that's on the way and hopefully that will actually finish this up so it screws in as it should I got the die in today um, it's much larger than all the other dies that I have and I was too cheap to buy a 20 something dollar uh, holder but it's got a big adjustable wrench I figured if I need it I'm hoping this is not a huge job for this thing
up what came off of there when I was cutting it and it didn't take a whole lot off but the thread certainly looked a lot cleaner and a lot nicer than what I had produced so now let's just see if it actually fits in the head yeah all right so I guess the only thing left is to install this and set it up um, just to make sure it's actually got enough travel that it works I did some measurements along the way and I'm pretty sure it should be fine but I'd rather check it now instead of uh, getting into the process of setting up the ignition and then finding out that it doesn't work and I've got to come up with another option Alright, so I don't have the specs next to me right now. I think the ignition timing was something like three and a half to four and a half millimeters uh, from top dead center. And I've seen over eight millimeters on the gauge just turning it over. I don't have a real precise way to turn it over right now. I'm just using the kickstart. But uh, that should be good enough to work.